the IBF, IBO and Super WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua, has said that all comparisons with Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson would only be fair if he managed to unify the heavyweight division by becoming undisputed champion. And this is what Anthony Joshua had to say. I could 100% agree with that once we've done something credible and tangible. The proof is always in the pudding and once I've got something I'll talk about it. At the minute I'm a prospect but I keep a lid on it because there's a long way to go. My career has been four years in the making. We've been listening to what people want and they want to see who is the king of the heavyweight division. I'm embracing everything coming my way this year. So that was Anthony Joshua's statement when he was asked about comparisons between himself and Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, and all that kind of thing. And I think that's a fair point. I think if he becomes undisputed champion, then will he be compared to Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali? Not too sure, because at the minute his career, like he says, is only four years. So he needs to have a bit of longevity, really, before he can become a legend such as them guys. And it would take even for me, a bit more than just become an undisputed champion within 2018. So, because again, he's only been in there five years. But of course, he will become a legend and be, to become undisputed, he will automatically be enrolled into the Hall of Fame, no matter what happens after 2018, if he achieves that. But to be comparable to them, maybe, maybe. But he needs to have a bit of longevity as well as just becoming undisputed. I say just, but... Yeah, I mean, at the minute he also says that he's still a prospect. And he's right, he's a prospect. He's 20 fights in, four years into the game. He's just a prospect. In theory, he should only be British champion, maybe European champion. And starting now to look at becoming world champion. But already, whereas other champions will talk about unification, Deontay Wilder, perfect case. He's been talking about it for a long time. But Anthony Joshua is the one who's done it. Dante Wilder talks about it, but he's yet to do it. But of course, he is actually trying to make a fight with Joshua now. Um, but it seems that he's going after Joshua because of the money. If he really wants to be unified champion and undisputed champion at some point, Dante Wilder I'm talking about here, then why is he not chasing Joseph Parker? Why is his team of Al Heyman and that not making, in, making reasonable offers to Joseph Parker to lure him to Vegas as that's where they want to fight, right? So, I mean, for me, yes, he is a prospect. He definitely is. And he's achieved far more than most people do in their entire career in such a short four-year career. And Anthony Joshua could well be the next legend. Could be. But again, it's, it, it really is too early. I think automatically now... Because he's a unified champion, and we haven't had a unified champion in quite a long time in the heavyweight division, then I think he will automatically be enrolled into the British Hall of Fame of boxing. So, doesn't matter really what happens now, he's got that on his record, and he will go down as a British legend. So, what's going to happen? Will he be embracing, like uh, as he says, I will be embracing everything next year, 2018. But... Does that mean that he's going to be putting in reasonable offers towards Wilder and Parker? Tyson Fury, of course. Obviously, he's got the lineal. Would, even if Anthony Joshua managed to become undisputed champion by getting the belts off Wilder and Parker, if Wilder and Parker don't want to fight each other, which it seems they don't, they both want to cash out on AJ. But even if he become undisputed, would he still be the king of the division when there's a lot of people out there saying Tyson Fury has not been defeated yet? And he's still the lineal champion. Would Anthony Joshua also have to beat Tyson Fury to get that lineal? And of course take that zero off of Tyson Fury to become the only man to beat him. Then maybe he could be the king. For me, he would be the king. To become undisputed with or without lineal is still undisputed. But I think lineal adds a little bit of the cherry on top. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with all that kind of situation. But to be comparing him to Muhammad Ali, I can see why that um, you could compare him, if you like, to the greats if you become undisputed. But for me, I think you still need a bit of longevity, not only just become undisputed, 
because some people will say this is a weak division right now. Personally, I disagree with that. But we're going to have to wait and see what happens in time as to whether or not Anthony Joshua, first of all, becomes undisputed. What's going to happen with the other two belts? Who's he going to fight next? Are Wilder and Parker actually going to muster up some courage and fight each other? One of them come up with a decent offer. And what's going to happen with Tarzan Fury and his lineal? So anyway, drop yourself a comment below, click that thumbs up and subscribe.